Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So Philip has come in. She's had these nails on for three weeks. They still looked beautiful and I was really sad to take them off but obviously she wants to change her design and so we are removing them. Well, not removing them, we're filing back to the clear base. So I'm taking this balbit, this it whips that acrylic off and I use it differently for different things. So saying that, the glitter that I'm removing is kind of like jagged and it doesn't file off as smooth if you just whip it down in one kind of motion which is what I normally do and it just kind of whips it all off I just kind of go back and forth gently like almost scratching that glitter off um when I'm taking off a glitter nail but yes this whips it off in seconds it is so good and I love it so after I've done all that, I've obviously pushed back a cuticles, gone in with cuticle prep. As you can see on them two, two the two, the middle and the index, um, I've snapped off the clear base, which is so annoying because obviously it's really thin, um, and you fall back to that really thin clear layer, and then I filed to shape it and it snapped off. So frustrating, but never mind. I just sculpted a new tip on there, um, and I'm just going back in and applying a fresh clear base to the growth area that needs some fresh acrylic so i have just done all the prep work um and then i've used cjp acid bond primer put that on all five nails and then i'm coming in and doing that clear base so i'm really sorry it's been like a week since i uploaded i have been so busy and i do post pictures on my instagram so Make sure you follow me there because obviously I do stories. You get to see some of my life. You also get to see sometimes when I'm doing clients, you get to see sets of nails that I don't put on YouTube. So that's really nice. That's always in the description box if you want to go ahead and follow me there. I've just been really busy. Yeah, it's been hectic. And obviously when you have new clients in and out, in and out, in and out, it's kind of like... I just don't have the time to set up the camera and go, do you mind if I record? Because obviously I'm working to a deadline, you know, back to back with clients. So it's a lot of pressure at the minute, but, you know, I'm getting there. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. And I'll do this on all her nails. Obviously I've built this nail here. I'll do the same on the index finger, but I didn't record that because obviously I don't want to bore you. So once they were set, I just shaped them up a little bit after they were dry um, and now we're coming into design. So I'm taking CJP and more and I'm going to build a nice nail bed. So I'll just take that first bead and bring it up, tidy up the sides, make sure that both sides are the same. Um, bring it down and just kind of clean it up with my brush. And then I'm going to do my cuticle bead and make sure that I build that apex in there as well because you're not going to cap that area to make sure your structure is all sound place that bead on I use the real tip of that brush to like act as a barrier to stop it hitting any of that skin but get it nice and flush to that cuticle area and then just blend it down tucking it in and blending it down tucking it in <laughs> blending it down so then I'm going to do just a kind of um, uh, a bit of a nail bed colour and drag it down just to cover the natural nail colour. So again, using a more tidying up that nice cuticle area. I don't know where all these hairs were coming from. It was so annoying. Every time I placed a bead, there was like a hair there. So frustrating. Tapping it into the cuticle area and dragging it down. So then we're going to move on to the colours and I'm using some design colours. So these work more wet, so you're going to kind of paint with them more. Um, I'm using bright violet. I'm going to do an ombre with bubblegum. I'm not fussed about the ombre because I'm just going to plonk some glitter over it anyway. So I'm just kind of making sure the cute area is nice and neat, kind of get that blend. And then I'm going to do the ombre and some glitter. So the glitter that I'm going to use today is obviously the Indian Summer Stack from the Glitter Fairy. Love it. Um, perfect. When you're using like neon colours. Yeah, she came in and she said, I've had really pretty pastelies and now I want really bright. So this is what we did. The colours, 
combination were inspired by Kerry Anderson. If you don't follow her, make sure you do because she's amazing. And then I'm coming in with Lotus from the Indian Summer Stack, which is the pink one, I think. I hope. I'm just going to do like an S shape. On the middle finger, we're going to do a three colour ombre, but I'm just going to cover the ombres with the different coloured glitters. I'm doing this more for a base, so the colours of the glitters pop more, and you can see the gradual fade from the purple to the orange and then to the pink. After I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and do a marble just down the tip of this index. Excuse me. Oh, so I am taking bright violet, heat wave and bubble gum and then just swiping my brush through them to make a marble. Just going to add a little bit more purple down that corner. Patting it and tidying it up and then just going to go some glitter down the, just along that join. Yeah, I've been really quiet on YouTube and I've missed, I've been missing these loads. There's so many amazing nail techs on YouTube now. I don't even get a chance to really sit and watch any more. Um, I kind of fell out of love with it just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I love watching them spot popping videos. <laughs> like the acne treatment videos and I love them videos are so therapeutic some people will probably think I'm gross <laughs> um and I bet I bet there's loads of you out there that love them as well I love them so yeah I'm just going to go in with the purple glitter from the Indian summer and the lotus from the Indian summer mix them together and just go down like that the thumb was just bright violet with a little glitter bit in it so i didn't record that it was just kind of plain and i didn't want the video to drag on too long so i'm just going to follow that smile line 
and then I'm going to go and ombre heat wave and bubblegum on the tip and I was really annoyed actually because I blended it really well and then when I filed it I must have filed off the cap and the blend a little bit and by the end of it you could see a bit of a line on this nail the other nail was beautiful um but this one you could see a bit of a line and it really annoyed me but Philippa loved them and that's all that matters obviously we see the flaws don't we that we have so that was a bit annoying but yeah so I'm using bubble gum down one side trying to keep it off that nail bed I mean you're gonna file it through anyway but I like to just keep it nice and clean around the edge and then I'm gonna come in with heat wave Oh no, I'm still using bubble gum. <laughs> and now I'm going to come in with heat wave. Down the other side. Try not to touch her skin with my brush. And just ombre it over. After this, I capped all the nails, filed, shaped, buffed, cleaned away all of the dust. As you can see, look, the ombre looks beautiful there. Um, yeah, and then top coated and cute coloured. And here's the finished result. I loved them. I hope you love them. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.